Hi, this is the third in a series of videos where I track down a local source of QRM. If you haven't watched the previous two videos, uh, it's worth watching to follow the story through. In this video, I actually trace the source of QRM itself and remove it. Hope you find this video useful. So the QRM is across all bands, but here we can see it on the pan adapter on 80 meters. And here in the zoomed in shot we can see the reset it does every 60 seconds. So to accompany the loop that I made last time to successfully trace down the location of the QRM I've made a, an RF sniffer from a designer found on the internet uh, and it's effectively a small coil on the end of a piece of coax uh, which I'll show you how I made. So these are the ingredients we need to make a sniffer another piece of 20 mil conduit this is my last piece so hopefully this goes well PL259 uh, some RG58 uh, I don't have any one mil enameled copper wire so I'm using this domestic mains cable and that's one mil uh, the core is anyway and I need a three and a half mil former. I don't have a three and a half mil drill, but that black wire is three and a half mil in diameter. So basically, uh, PL259 on one end, some RG58 through the plastic, uh, and a three and a half mil three turn um, coil on the bottom. So it should be as simple as that. So there I've got the PL259 in one end. It neatly fits with a female. So now just to wind the coil and attach it to this end. Well, it's not the neatest job, um, but there's the coil. The uh, insulation started pulling away once I heated up the copper end, but uh, it's still not touching. Uh, what that insulation does in terms of the performance of the coil, I don't know, but hopefully that's enough to do the test. And I'll just tidy this end up a bit. Uh, and the PL at that end and then you've got a, a sniffing wand that's a theory anyway hopefully it works as good as the loop at the end of the last video I approached the owner of the house that I thought was the source of the QRM and they were only too happy to help me track down the item that might be co the cause so at a later visit, uh, they helped by turning off uh, consumer units in the house. It's a big sprawling house, there was a number of consumer units. But by chance, the first one we turned off stopped the noise. So we then uh, turned off the breakers one by one. And uh, then I identified that it was an outbuilding uh, that was the potential cause. Uh, so then the, uh, the investigation followed from there. And the only thing we found plugged in was this battery charger for a ride on lawnmower. Come on, there's a red light. And the sniffer was working, it just took a while for the charger to warm up. Yeah. And this was a coordinated test back at home. And now watch for the peaks on the display as the interference comes back. So here's the source of the QRM, a Chinese made CE marked charger with English as well as uh, Russian labelling. And when you see the distance of the QRM from my home and the number of houses that it could have been, you see the need for direction finding to, to track it down. And clearly a big uh, thank you to the homeowner who helped me 
uh, track down the actual source of the QRM. Well, I hope you liked this video, which was a third in a series of me hunting down my QRM. Hopefully it'll help you find your source of QRM. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like the others on the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of new videos when they're released. 73.